Today we're gonna to be talking about chairs, you know, the comfortable ones, AKA the ergonomic ones. Odds are that about 50% of the people watching this video wake up and go to work at an office, a coffee shop, or at home, which requires sitting. You're probably sitting in your chair right now watching this video. And if your chair isn't a good one, then eventually you'll find out because you'll be tired of the back pain or the neck pain. Day after day, you'll begin looking for the perfect chair, whatever that may be. Unfortunately, you realize that there are way too many options. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my take on the Ergo One chair and the pros and cons of mesh chairs. I was doing my research and I was gonna go with the big name brands that everybody knows, but I decided to go with a brand that you probably never even heard of. Ergo. I think I'm saying that right, Ergo. This model is the Ergo One, and since the Ergo One's name is similar to Autonomous's chair, the Ergo Pro, looking up the Ergo brand was kind of difficult regarding anything outside of their website. They have two options right now, and at the time of this video, the Ergo Comfort Plus, which is their Plus version, was $560, and the Ergo One, which is what I got, was $500. I got mine on sale for $350 when I bought it, but then if you go look at their website, they're like on sale from being originally like $1,100, $1,200, something like that. So it's kind of weird because they're always on sale. So I wonder if they're actually worth that much or priced that much. I don't know. The assembly didn't take too long and instructions were pretty straightforward. You may need help connecting the back to the seat, but I use this table to set the seat on. All in all, it probably took about an hour and a half to do, which is including unboxing and setting up my camera for various shots. Now this chair has most of the features that are similar to the other chairs that are in this mesh category. Our first feature is the adjustable headrest. I have to get used to headrest because of my hair, but overall I like how the headrest is adjustable in case somebody else wants to sit in it. Next we have the adjustable armrests. You can raise them, lower them, move them forwards and backwards, you can twist them, basically anything you wanna do with an armrest except for completely take it off. Well, unless you wanna unscrew it. Some chairs have the lumbar support where you can twist a knob and adjust, but this one just adjusts to however much pressure your lower back is putting on it. So I personally think that's cool, it's enough for me, but I know it varies from person to person. You got one lever on the side, push it in the lock, you pull it out to lean, and it leans all the way to 117 degrees. So it doesn't lean flat, but it leans back far enough. That same lever can be used to raise and lower the chair. It goes up and down. I mean, exactly what I said. So um, there's not much more than that. I mean, right now I'm fine with it. I know some people wouldn't be, but honestly, the only thing I would change are the wheels. They just aren't as smooth on a carpet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change them to these rollerblade-esque caster wheels. I would get them from the Ergo website because they have them on there, but they're like $99 and I already have them on my table um, and I have one extra wheel because they come in a pack of five and I only need four for my table. And you can pick them up at Lowe's for like, what, 30, 40, maybe 50 bucks. So definitely cheaper than $99. And now that you have a general understanding of how the Ergo One chair is, what it looks like, all the features and everything, it's time to go through some pros and cons of mesh chairs in general. So if you're a hot natured person, then the fact that the mesh chairs provide ventilation is well, is perfect. If you're a cold natured person, I mean, well, you should either grab a blanket or this just might not be the chair for you. To be straightforward, mesh chairs typically cost less than leather or anything similar, which makes them more budget friendly for the most part. These chairs are lightweight, so moving them won't be a problem, or at least it shouldn't be a problem. Also, if you have any spills or if you got any stains, for the most part, they're easy to clean up, especially easier on than leather. All right, so the mesh is great and all, but it could potentially sag over time, causing the chair to lose that comfort that you're looking for. So that's, that's kind of bad. And I mean, because they're on the cheaper side, for the most part, they're not, they won't last as long. Okay, the design is cool, it's minimal, all that kind of stuff, but there's not much variety when it comes to the mesh chair world. You have a little bit, but like, I mean, come on, you just got colors and other stuff. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Again, the mesh is great, but it just doesn't beat the plush seats that some chairs come with. Actually, the plus version does come with a plush seat or a memory foam seat, so you can pick or choose which one you want. 
All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. As far as mesh ergonomic chairs go, the price range is pretty big. On one end, you have something like a $35 chair, which you can find on Amazon. And then you have the other end with chairs that could be like a thousand plus, 1100. Remember these chairs, these Ergol chairs are technically $1,100 on sale. Overall, your boy right here is satisfied with this chair, especially because I went from this right here to this. So technically anything would have been better for me. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day. Don't forget to thumbs up bell and I'll see you in the next video.